Hey everybody, this is Brian, and today we're going to start our journey on Java. What is Java? Well, a quick Google will tell you what Java is. Java is a cross-platform language that runs on quite literally any platform out there. So the code you write on a Windows box will run on Linux and Unix and Mac OS and etc. etc. Um, Java is used around the world. It's one of the most popular languages out there. The reason why I'm doing this is because I am studying for the Sun Certified Java Programmer. That's the Sun Certified Java Programmer or SCJP certification. Now you notice when you search for Sun Certified Java Programmer, you're taken to Oracle. Why is that? Everybody knows that Sun made Java. Well, Oracle bought Sun. Well, I should rephrase, they bought parts of Sun, not all of it, but for the most part, just know that Oracle bought Sun, so it's now the Oracle Certified Professional Java Programmer. Same exam from what I've heard, but I'm going to study for it nonetheless. The one that I'm going to go for is the 310.65 Java Standard Edition 6. There's different editions of Java. What you really need to know is there's a Standard Edition, and a Mobile Edition, and an Enterprise Edition. And what's the difference between those two? Well, the mobile edition is for, you guessed it, mobile phones. Standard is more for desktop programming, and Java Enterprise Edition is more for server programming. Um, for this, we're going to be doing the standard edition. But all editions of Java are roughly the same, so these tutorials will help you with any of them. So, the first thing you need to do is actually download Java. How do you get that? Well, let's try the Java Development Kit, or JDK. As you see, there's a lot of them out there. So Java SE, Standard Edition. And you just go to Download. And you notice it'll be like FX and NetBeans and EE, Enterprise Edition. Remember, we just discussed EE. What are these other two? FX is kind of their competition for Macromedia Flash, whereas NetBeans is an IDE. We will not be covering NetBeans. We'll be using Eclipse, which is arguably a little more popular and a little more user-friendly in the beginning. So anyways, you just click Java, and chances are you already have Java installed, but if you don't, you just download the development kit. Now there's something you should know here. There's a Java runtime and a Java development kit. The runtime allows you to run Java code. So when you go to java.com, whoops, when you go to java.com, that's not it. Darn you, Google. There it is, java.com. When you go to java.com and you download, you're downloading the runtime environment. This allows you to run Java. You're going to be programming Java, so you're going to need the runtime and the JDK. So go to java.com, choose your language, download the JRE or Java runtime environment, and then you're going to need to find the JDK which you can find from oracle.com or just a quick Google of JDK. You're going to download Standard Edition. You can click on Java. Oh, I should probably back up and mention this. You can also get the JRE here. So if you just Google JDK, you can get the JDK or the JRE. Anyways, just click Java. Follow the prompts on the screen. You're going to want to download Java Standard Edition Development Kit. I'm using 6U21. 6U21 means Java 6 Update 21. You can see Java 6 Update 21 right here. Really, the additions don't matter. Just know that you're using the Java Development Kit. Then, after you've downloaded and installed those, you're going to want to download what's called Eclipse. You can go to eclipse.org. And be careful Googling Eclipse because you might get that vampire movie. Uh, teenage girls love that. But, anyways. Go to Eclipse.org, and this is a very popular IDE. Download and install the edition for that. You might get a little confused because there are a lot of editions out there for Eclipse. You can see there's Eclipse Java, Eclipse Runtime, SOA, Pulsar Modeling, Application Frameworks. This has become a whole movement in itself. And don't worry, all of this is 100% free. You're diving into what's called the open source software movement, or just open source. So um, typically... I mean, just pick whatever you want. Go to Downloads. I'm just going to kind of walk through here. It's been a while. Um, the one I downloaded was the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. It's 99 megs. It comes as a zip file. Um, basically, you just extract it and run it. There's really no setup needed. 
you'll see all these weird acronyms. We'll get into these later, where it says org, eclipse, CSV, all this stuff. It's going to look totally Greek to you if you've never touched Java. Just download the edition that's right for you. And as you can see, it comes from our Windows, Mac, and Linux. Once you have those set up, uh, go to the next video, which we will be starting Eclipse. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.